Hi everyone, in today's video I will be talking about the brand new version of Filmora that is Filmora 13. It has got some amazing features, it is way better than its previous version but today I will be reviewing only 3 features which I personally like the most and I believe if you are a content creator you will love these features too. So let's get into it. So the first feature I'm gonna talk about is the AI vocal remover. Sometimes we have a video in which the vocals quality is not that good but we are pretty satisfied with the background music or vice versa. We want to get rid of the background music but we want to retain the voiceover. Doing this is now possible in Filmora 13. So let's do it. So I already have a video on my timeline. I will right click on it. We can straight away go to the vocal remover tool but I will suggest you to firstly detach the audio by clicking here on the detach audio so that we have two separate tracks. One is the video track and the other one is the audio track. Now I will right click on this audio track and now I will click on AI vocal remover. It will take a couple of seconds. It might even take a couple of minutes depending upon how long of a video is. And it will create two separate audio tracks for us. One will have the voiceover and the other one will have the background music. So it's done and as you can see here, we have basically three tracks. The one is the audio track, the original audio track. And this one is the voiceover as you can see here the naming voice. And the third one is the background music. So now we have all the three tracks separately on our timeline. Firstly, we can get rid of this one, the actual audio track. We don't need it anymore. So I'll right click on it and I will delete it. Now our two audio tracks are here. One is the voiceover and the other one is background music. Now if I don't want the voiceover, I will simply mute this from here and then in my video only the background music will be retained. I can even increase its volume from here. And now let me give you a preview of this. So as you can see, we only have our background music now. But if we want our voiceover and we do not want this background music, we will mute this one and unmute this one and now we will only have voiceover in our video then i will align the title to the center and i will choose a font size of around 100 pretty cool isn't it second feature which i'm going to talk about is background blur adding a blur background to your videos has now become super easy with filmora 13 let me show you how to do it so i will double click on this video here and here in the basic editing tab, I will firstly scale down the value to some extent to show you how this effect will look like. Then I will scroll down and here I have this option of background. I will turn on this toggle button and just like that a background blur has been added to our video. We can change the intensity of blur. We can even change the type of blur from here. From here we can change the style of blur. If we don't want basic blur, we can go for radial or many other options are there. We can even increase the intensity of the blur effect from here. Now, cool thing is we can also add colors or patterns from the same menu here. From the type, choose color and then simply choose the color you like. From the same menu, choose pattern and then simply choose the pattern you like for your background. The third feature which I'm going to talk about is AI music. While creating videos for YouTube, we all have to go through this tedious task of finding the copyright free music. But with Filmora 13, this issue is resolved. Now you can create your own AI music within Filmora and that will be copyright free. So let me show you how to do this. So I will firstly go to the audio tab here and here I will click on the AI music. Then I will click on start. A pop up window will open where we have to go through three options. Firstly, we have to choose the mood of our music, which we want to create. Many options are here. I'm going to go with the peaceful. Then we have to decide the duration for our music track. I will go for two minutes. The maximum we can create is five minutes. Then we have this music count where we decide how many tracks we want Filmora to create. By default, Filmora will create three music tracks for you. If you want, you can create up to six tracks. I'm gonna go with the default number of tracks right now and then I will click on start and within a couple of seconds it will generate multiple tracks for me depending upon the count I chose and I can simply use them in my videos without getting worried about the copyright strike. So as you can see 
all the three audio tracks have now been created we can firstly listen to them from here so now we can simply download the track we like by clicking on the download option here so it has not only been downloaded but has also been added to our timeline so that's it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please if you are new to this channel do subscribe and help this channel grow to new heights. Thank you so much.